the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California. We've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the L.A. Chargers. A first carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then executed. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Garoppolo. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. It's Khalil Mack that time, shooting in there to get him to the ground. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. What a great job getting pressure here on the first drive. Three plays and already two sacks. And that pressure has been intense right from the beginning. And I'm telling you, if they don't make an adjustment in play calling and protection, it'll go from intense to relentless. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. In motion right, one of the tight ends. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler. And he's got some space here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, OK, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. On first and 10, Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else? And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Josh Palmer there to make the grab. And the Chargers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. 
And he returns this to the 22. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here's second and 10. On play action, it's Garoppolo. He's gonna look deep down the field. And that gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football, but they couldn't get the hook up there. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and 10. To throw, it's Garoppolo. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. The Charger drive about to get going. Just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. You don't see that a ton, do you? A cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball is moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And his throw is incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Here's Herbert. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now second and five. From the 50, here's Herbert. Get and oh, he coughed it up. And the Raiders pick it up. He's got room at the 30. Down to the 10. That he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return for six and a Raider touchdown. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Charger drive about to get going. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Second and 10, here's Herbert once more. Allen hit, he lost the football. And the Raiders pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. After the fumble recovery, it's Garoppolo. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. A new life now following the late turnover. Maybe a chance for points here before the break. Yeah, pretty nice situation they find themselves in because they're really maybe one completion away from giving their kicker a shot. And that gives them a chance to get some points up on the board. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo over the middle. He's got Myers. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now to approach this, third down and 16 yards to go. There's Garoppolo to throw. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Khalil Mack, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Charger drive about to get going. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. 
Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. A final shot before the break for Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Once more, here's Eckler. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 48 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs, and how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Herbert on first down now. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Here's second and three. Back to throw here, Herbert. That's taken in by Palmer. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 20-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Herbert operating from the red zone. He'll get this to Eckler. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see it break down as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away. Throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and and try and make a bigger play there's really no one else running a pattern that should be open on second down Eckler only two yards on the carry that's going to set up a third and long third and 15 to be exact watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you he did that very well you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball took a great angle right there third and long it's herbert he'll get this out wide to eckler and he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And 
his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? the touchdown. Here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Here's Carter now on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Garoppolo's throw there complete to Myers. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. Running straight ahead is Jacobs, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First target, first catch, and a first down. Garoppolo now. Open man is Myers. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 to throw is Garoppolo over the middle and it's incomplete he shook his head right when he released that throw he knew it was going to be a little off target yeah the excitement got him on that one wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open and it would have been an easy throw line of scrimmage the 31 as they line up second and 10 They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. We're now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And this one is incomplete. 
And right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. The kick by Carlson is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up? Or are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Second down, here's Herbert finding Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as he's up to the 43. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. Herbert. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Nearly an interception. If that one's picked off, it's over. So a new lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage that sometimes the ball, if it arrives, it surprises you. That may have happened to him in that situation. Herbert to throw. A little short pass. This is Everett. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Now Herbert. And he is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Let's go, let's go. Inside of a minute to go now, two timeouts left, still in pretty good shape. I think they're in excellent shape here if they use the timeouts judiciously and use the sideline as an additional timeout. Two timeouts still at their disposal. Here's a first and ten now. Throwing Herbert. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Here's second down and three. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and 10. Eckler now between the tackles, and he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. 
We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they tried to ice him there, but it's fair to say it did not have the intended effect. And I've known kickers that take it as an affront. And there he says, you think you're going to rattle me? Think again. Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won. <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.